Hello, my name is Jeff Kramer and I'm the pastor of Crestview Austin Baptist Church. I want to invite you to join us this coming Sunday, April 26, on our YouTube channel, Crestview Austin Baptist Church, for an introduction and overview of the Book of Lamentations. One of life's most puzzling or difficult to understand problems is the presence, the persistence, and the power of evil, pain, and suffering experienced by individuals. We ask, why is this happening to me? Why is all of this necessary? Will there ever be an end to the agony which comes from suffering? More specifically, how and why did this coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic happen? When is it all going to end? The problem only intensifies all the more for Christians who attempt to explain how a good God can permit hardship, pain, and suffering that weighs so heavily on, heavily on, on his most faithful of his children. What can be done to avoid suffering, if anything? What is one to do when he or she is in the midst of such anguish? Can anything be said to comfort and aid a friend or loved one who is deep in the agony of suffering? The Bible has a lot to say about suffering. The Old Testament writers look more at the purpose and result of suffering rather than the definition, origin, or even rationale for suffering. The Old Testament writers came from the perspective that we live in a world uh, that is guided by a merciful, benevolent, and gracious Lord who is actively involved in the lives of men and women and nations. In the New Testament, we see how God's Son, Jesus Christ, suffered a horrible death on the cross and was buried and then rose again on the third day. We see how the apostles suffered and died for believing and sharing the truth that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and that all who believe and spend eternity in heaven. In the last book of the Bible, Revelation, God gives us a look at the suffering that will occur. Those who believe in God and do not fall away will suffer at the hands of the devil through the Antichrist. Those who refuse to submit and believe in God will suffer from God's wrath. In the Old Testament, there are particularly two books that it come to mind when dealing with suffering and pain. They are Job and Lamentations. Job deals with the unbelievable loss and suffering of an individual. Uh, the book of Lamentations leads us to an experience of communal suffering and pain. Now, Lamentations will not give us a quick cure or antidote, but it will help us work through our pain. Lamentations will not necessarily un unveil the deep mysteries of God, but it will point us to the loving kindness and faithfulness of God. Uh, the application of this book becomes more up close and personal as we understand the context of the passage as concerning the destruction of Jerusalem and the exile of the Jewish people to Babylon. You see, their story is our story. One of the most uh, wonderful, great passages in Lamentations is chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. It says, the Lord's loving kindnesses indeed never cease, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. See you Sunday on YouTube channel Crestview Austin Baptist Church. Thank you.